bookworms buddy it is now time for why have I not read these books 3.0 this is a challenge that I had started a couple years ago and I try to do one a year but I, I decided it was time to have a why have I not read these books challenge and what this does is it helps Pick books off your shelves that you know you've wanted to read, but you just kind of skipped over them and skipped over them, and they sit on your shelves for years, and you just don't think you're going to get to them because, you know, you're, you want to read this one instead or this one. So, these books have been on my shelves for a year plus, and um, this is going to happen in March, so if you want to join in Why Have I Not Read These Books Challenge, I'm giving you ample time to choose books because it's not going to be till March. Um, I generally choose about eight books um, and fill up my TBR, but I decided that I'm only going to do five books. Um, I've been keeping my TBRs smaller anyway, as you guys know if you've been watching, because I miss out on like read-alongs and that kind of stuff, and uh, and that's because I have a full TBR. So I've been keeping them smaller so I can throw books in there if there is a readathon or a read along or a buddy read or something that I want to join. So anyway, um, let's get to the books that I chose for this challenge. And here we go Ever After High, the Storybook of Legends by Shannon Hale. This is probably a middle grade book, but I see it on my shelf every time I look at it and I just I'm like man I need to pick that book up and read it so I am finally gonna read it for this challenge and there you go the next one I picked and this is really embarrassing because I've had this book for like three years and that book is The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken and I just die to get get a hold of this book because when it was hyped up there was a lot of people hyping it up and I just I, I never did it because of the hype and when I finally picked the book up it just sits there on my shelf and I didn't read it and I have the next book too so I'm going to read it now it deserves to be read it's been sitting there long enough so yeah The Darkest Mind by Alexander Bracken the next book I read or picked I was supposed to read it this last year in the series a thon and I never picked it up. I've had this book for a couple years now, at least a little over a year, if, if not two years. And this is Pathfinder by Orson Scott Card. And yeah, I kept saying, oh, I want to read this because it sounds really good. And yeah, so it's going to come to me in March and I'm going to get this read. And I do have the next book also um, for this series. The next one I've had, again, embarrassing, I got this like two, three years ago when I went to Indiana um, to my sister's library and they had a big library sale and they had this series and this is The Magician and Mrs. Quent. And this is kind of historical and I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be magic, of course it's called The Magicians and Mrs. Quent. It's by Galen Bre Beckett and I have the whole trilogy, if it's just a trilogy, I think it is just a trilogy. And it has sat there on my shelf forever, and the print is not too thrilling, but <laughs> yeah, I hope I will like this. If not, I'll be sad, but yeah, there's that one. And again, another embarrassing one I've been meaning to read forever, and that is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I've heard from so many people how fantastic this book is. Even Brittany was, was telling me how I needed to read this one. So now the time has come, come March, I will finally be reading this book. My daughter and her friend just finished this um, trilogy, so it's time for me to read it. They really enjoyed it, so I think I'm going to enjoy it as well. So those are the five books that I picked for Why Have I Not Read These Books Challenge 3.0. Um, please come join me, guys, and if you want to join, let me know in the comments below. Pick your books, um, do a video, what have you, let me know, and I'll come watch. But thanks for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.